the decision by the Ukrainian parliament to emphatically denounce its non-aligned status could have serious political and security implications for an already destabilized region. The vote by 303 to 8 effectively opens the way to NATO membership for Ukraine, which Russia will inevitably see as a clear threat to its own security. But Ukraine's leaders were determined to scrap its neutral status, whatever the reaction from the Kremlin. Today we should all vote for a key bill in the current situation, a bill about peace, a bill about reform strategy, a bill about our place in Western civilization. This is a bill denouncing Ukraine's non-aligned status. Earlier this year, senior Ukrainian military officers met with NATO commanders on a training exercise in Bulgaria. But it could take years for Kiev to complete its membership to the alliance, and not all NATO countries are in favor. But with the fighting between Ukraine forces and separatist rebels in the east of the country showing no sign of ending, 4,700 soldiers and civilians have died since an abortive ceasefire was signed in Minsk in September. Today's vote in Kiev won't make it any easier when Russia and the rebels sit down with Ukraine to try and reinstate another ceasefire. And political analysts are warning of a far more wide-ranging conflict should Ukraine join NATO, giving Russia cause for war. Ukraine moving toward NATO or NATO moving into Ukraine uh, could be something like a casus belli, not for a small uh, conflict contained somewhere in the east of Ukraine, but to a much, much larger conflict that may affect uh, Western countries. Just how Russia will react to that eventuality will have been occupying the minds of Putin and his military planners since the crisis began nearly a year ago. The decision by Kiev to scrap its non-aligned neutral status has provoked an anticipated angry reaction from the Kremlin. Dmitry Medvedev, the Russian Prime Minister, chose his words carefully when he said an application for NATO membership will turn Ukraine into a potential military opponent. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera in Moscow.